three minutes, you lose Switch the side. feeling in your hand and then the nerve damage starts. So just don't go past three minutes. Once you uh, get your watch wet, so. Yeah. Now, there's a few techniques that you can use to enhance your pain tolerance. Well, let's get it started and then explain it. I want to see if something's going All right, you're going to time it? <laughs> I will time this one. Yes, I have the handy dandy timer. All right. Find my you guys feel comfortable? Yes. He doesn't <laughs> What have I done? <laughs> you volunteered. You're going to do great. This is the closest you get to being an actual Mythbuster, though. Painting from the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, on your marks. Get set. Dip. Okay, so in the meantime, because sometimes it takes a really long time for you to talk to people, I'm going to answer a couple of your audience questions. Um, oh, I like this one. I think this might be directed at Grant. <laughs> Robin at Our Points Revolution wants to know, Dr. Who or Torchwood? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is a very safe answer. Good answer. Thank you. Actually, yes. but I do have a TARDIS phone price. <laughs> Are you? I am. Okay. I am. I like John Barrowman. How are you guys doing? How are you all doing? Let's hear it for the lady. Let's hear it for the man. Yeah. What are you actually feeling right now? Nothing. Actual pain? What kind of pain? Pain, pain? Like prickly? I'm seeing a lot of sweat on your face. <laughs> Alright, as long as it doesn't go numb, that might be... That's where the nerve damage happens. Like it has like 20 minutes. If you're still doing this after 20 minutes, we, we might call the test. What do you do? You guys signed your waiver, right? Okay, we'll keep going then. Do you have any questions? I got one, I got one. Um, Jack at Jack50165, it's a bunch of numbers. Jack wants to know, what is the worst injury you've ever gotten toward Malaysia? Ooh, oh. so many to choose from. All of them? <laughs> uh, one of the worst was it was the Hollywood hang on bits. And we were seeing how long you can hang on. Oh. Oh. I was up there and we opted for a climbing expert as opposed to an effects supervisor. So basically, he had me hanging over a window. So when I fell, I hit my shin, I fell about six feet, I hit my shin on the concrete leg. It split my leg open, the blood was coming all out of my pant leg, and I was just watching blood dripping, and I was like, first time I ever had to go to the hospital and get stitches. The funny thing is I got back the next day, and the fire department, like, they were there helping us, they were like, hey, would you have a problem with signing the concrete where all your blood is? <laughs> So I did. <laughs> That's like a tour stop for them now. Okay, so I've got one from uh, Scott Mazzello. Are y'all BFFs outside the show? Well, in fact, Tori and I just went to lunch today while we were waiting for Grant to come in from his airplane. Um, that's Tori taking a picture of his food for Instagram. There's one of those. Because that's what your friends do. Is they take pictures of you taking pictures it. of ridiculous things. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. She just leaves literally. Like, uh, she snuck that in tonight. Don and Louise, the oyster bar, that was awesome. You can take it off now. I'm done humiliating. What time are we at? What do you got, Carrie Byron? Let's see. Go to our timer. I'll get too excited about that. Three minutes and eight seconds. Oh. 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 Still many minutes until nerve damage. How are we nerve damage? How are you guys holding up? Feels like fire. Feels like fire. <laughs> From ice. And how, how are you feeling? It's better than earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I think we're in trouble. <laughs> Showing signs of weakness? No. No stopping? Anybody want to give up? No? <laughs> Alright, let's get the man of nitrogen. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> it covers everything. I got one. I got one. Uh, at Duggar Mouse wants to know, what do you miss most about Mythbusters? Um, gosh, Mythbusters was so much fun. It was life-changing for me. And I got to know the whole crew, like, Family, like they good, bad, ugly, traveling, everything. And I saw them more than my actual family, I think, at times. So I miss I miss the crew all being together. 
I mean, you know, I miss the interaction that we had with you guys because every week when the show would air, you guys would all write in and go, you guys did it wrong. You should have done it like this. And it was just so fun to actually answer you guys and we would retest it because of your suggestion. I miss that, like that interaction that we have with you guys. Four but minutes and three seconds. I miss the learning things Woo! up. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally honest. All right, I have a question. Uh, this is from at Morgan J. Holidays are coming up. What fun and sciencey gift ideas do you recommend? Ooh. Duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> do anything with it. I know. Well, my daughter is uh, getting super into engineering projects, so I'm giving her all sorts of tinkering projects. And it's funny. Dry ice is just like the funnest gift. I bring that home and play with that for a while. Here you go. Here you go. Stella. Dry, dry ice. ice. Mommy got you dry ice again. She got nervous when I went over to the liquid nitrogen. She got a little nervous when I got the bucket of liquid nitrogen. He's not really going to do it. Where are we going? Where are we at? We might have to. Five minutes, 19 seconds. Oh! You did really well. Do you have any questions? I have right. I have another question. This one's for Grant from Gaston Cheroux. I'm probably screwing that up, and I'm sorry. How many times have you thrown up on TV? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, there's seasickness cures, hot chili cures, hangover cures. I think that's, that's three that I can name off the top of my head. Uh, how about you guys? One of my favorite, it actually wasn't me throwing up, uh, we were testing, it was the same, it was the same that frozen tongue, our tongue go frozen pool, but before we tested it, we had to test it on an analog. Oh, so we took a pig's tongue, reanimated, <laughs> Grant, Grant put like tubes in it, and pumped more water in that, so, really so that way it was like a real tongue. <laughs> What's weird about that? But then, the gross part is we had a giant beaker that we, we needed saliva to paint on the tongue. So we have this giant beaker that everybody from the crew would spit in. <laughs> <laughs> so this beaker starts rising up. And before we paint it on the tongue, we need to get it to body temperature, so we had to microwave it. If oh. you think regular saliva smells bad, you should smell steaming saliva. It's nasty. So Carrie comes out of the shop the steaming beaker of saliva, and she puts it on the table, but what she doesn't know is I have an exact beaker underneath the table that I put water and I put a little coffee in. It looks exactly like the saliva. So she put the beaker with the saliva down, I grabbed it, swapped it out, put the fake one up, and I picked it up while she turned around and I was like, oh, I'm gonna drink it. She's like, I dare you. So I chugged it. And she was like, <laughs> I didn't think she was going to actually do I puked a lot. <laughs> As I recall, a very expensive salad that day. Yeah, it wasn't like cheap burrito day. It was expensive salad okay, day. Okay, we, we got some discoloration of the epidermis. I feel like <laughs> Should we call this a tie? This, this is starting no, to get into the No, dude, let's not. I feel like he's breaking. I can tell because he's <laughs> Blue color. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, we're still strong, man. Are you supposed to be shaking like that? What do you do for a living? Do you use that very much? Uh, <laughs> I'm typing now. I'm typing. Uh, you can type on the left, right? Yeah. <laughs> How about you? What do you do for a living? You both do a lot of typing. She's a brain surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> you both have one hand. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually kind of a record. I think it's because we're in. Um, We've only been to oh, 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 oh. four cities before this, and maybe people have eight challenge for cold. Eight plus minutes, yeah? <laughs> 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 All right, you're not going to get too close. Getting close. No, you know, I'm just giving up your stubborn people up here. Stubborn, stubborn people. We can call that before. I say we're going to have to call this a tie. Otherwise, this is going to be a five-hour show. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys have to pull your hands out on the count of three, okay? Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Uh, they asked what it's like to be the only female 
on the show. And I would like to tell you, I was not. Behind the scenes, we slowly took over. There were more and more and more and more of us. So since you only got to see the action of us five hosts, you didn't see how many behind the scenes women were producers, researchers, Director. directors, yes. sound people. Yeah. Yeah. So you should know that a lot of the brains of the operation was back there. They were also women. So I never felt like the only female on the show. Alright, let's try it again. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. You guys, you guys want to take your buckets back? <laughs> 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 now this is ten minutes. We're gonna have to Ha 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 ha!